Welcome to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, I will explain how to install a single node HPC 2019 cluster. So for this, I have downloaded the HPC 2019, uh, the latest uh, refreshed pack. So I've already extracted this into a folder. So we need a 2019 or a 2017 SQL. Um, so if you are using a local version, you can use a SQL Express or you, uh, that comes with the 2019 pack, HPC 2019 pack, or you can use um, SQL Server 2019 standard or Enterprise Edition if you want to use a remote uh, version. I'm going to use continue with the SQL Express 2019. So let's install this SQL Server. Yep, accept the license agreement and proceed with it. I'm just going to use everything as a default SQL installation. Yep, let's install the SQL database engine. Click next. Everything default. Click next. SQL Express. I'm not going to use any service accounts for SQL. Next, uh, it adds the current user as a SQL admin. Next, let's finish the SQL installation. Yep, yeah, the installation uh, SQL in server has been installed. Let's install the SQL Server Management Studio. Or you can install just the SQL PowerShell pack, just uh, needed for the SQL database to be created by the HPC. So the SSMC installation completed. Let's proceed. So we'll run the HPC install setup now. Click S. Yes. Yeah, we want to install the new, do a new installation. Click new install. Click next. Accept the license. Next. Yeah, we want to create a new HPC cluster. Click next. Uh, we want to install a single head node cluster. So click next. Yep, yeah, all checks passed. Click next. So I'm going to use the head node as a SQL server. I have already installed the SQL Express on the head node. If you want to use the remote node, select these options and for the each databases, and then you can, uh, it, you will be prompted for the SQL server instance details. So I'm going to proceed with the head node local install. Click next. So it auto directed the SQL Express. Next, I want to install the database, all databases in one, same location and the C drive. If you want, you can change it to different drive. Next, yeah, I'm going to leave everything default. So I don't have any certificates installed on the server. So I want to create, if you have a CA, you can uh, get a certificate and import it. I don't have a CA, so I'm just going to use the self-signed certificate. Click on the create certificate to cre create a self-signed certificate. So create, just certificate has been imported. Click next. I don't have Azure subscription, just so click next. So these are the components will be installed and some of them are already installed on the system. So those are in the green. So remaining will be installed. Yep, the installation has been completed. The HPC is the connection string for this node connection. So let's the installation has been completed. So let's finish and launch the cluster manager. So it takes a few minutes to launch the cluster manager. It depends on the it depends on your system performance. So yeah, here we go. We got this cluster manager. It says record deployment tasks are incomplete. So just click on the configure network. So I have all the uh, servers will be on the same network. So it depends on your network type. Select out of this five. So yeah, this is my public network or enterprise network. So click next. So I don't have a private network. If you have a private, you can, I'm going to 
go with the re default firewall settings so it is configuring the network now so the remote desktop might get disconnected at some point so you will have to reconnect or it in some cases it might reconnect automatically or you will have to reconnect yep here we go that network setup has been completed so everything no errors all looks green so let's finish Now provide the installation uh, uh, credentials. So these credentials will be used for adding the nodes to the clusters. So I'm going to use the HPC admin account, the domain account which I cre already created and used for this installation. So password. Click OK. Yep. Now configure new nodes. So, so that these are the naming standards for the new nodes so click ok yeah here we go i think so networks configured the node templates you don't have anything at the moment image nothing so users we have added the user the service these are the services resource pools so this is an empty cluster so resource management everything looks good so we have configure the HPC basic cluster on a single node uh, type so thanks for watching thank you